really important to, to rethink menopause as an event that, yes, clearly involves the ovaries. However, the brain is just as impacted as the ovaries are. There's a system that connects the brain to the ovaries in the reproductive system. There's actually one of the pillars of human physiology. It's called the neuroendocrine system, neuro brain endocrine hormones. This system goes all the way from your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland inside the brain to the ovaries. It's like a subway map, right? The first stop is in the brain, the last stop is in the ovaries, but every stop matters. You have to go through every single stop. And this subway system is powered by chemicals that we refer to as sex hormones or gonadal sex hormones. Now, the most important or the best studied of these hormones is estrogen. Although there are th at least three main forms of estrogens. And the one that is really so important before menopause is called 17 beta estradiol or estradiol for short. And that's the hormone that we, we kind of stop making after menopause. But there's another estrogen, it's called estrone, that is a backup estrogen that is not made by the ovaries that much, it's made by fat. So that's an important part of the puzzle here when we try to understand the hot flash. So going inside the brain, there is one very important structure that is in direct communication with your ovaries. It's called the hypothalamus, which means the little structure that is right below the thalamus. It is in charge of a number of functionalities, including regulating body temperature. The hypothalamus basically is in charge of telling the ovaries to make estrogen and progesterone so the ovulation can occur. And then the ovaries respond when the follicles are there and they're saying, okay, I have eggs. This system is very finely regulated. And every part of the system needs to work in sync for your brain also to work optimally because the hypothalamus is not only connected with the ovaries, connected with every other part of your brain. So it's a little bit like a relay system for your memories, for your attention, for your language, for your visual spatial capacities, for your odor, for a number of functionalities. So as the ovaries run out of follicles, they're not able to produce enough hormones for the hypothalamus to recognize. And so the hypothalamus is like, wait a minute, I need estrogen here, I need estradiol. Let me send you more of this hormone to force you to produce estrogen and estradiol, and the ovary is like, excuse me, I'm shutting down here, I'm done. And so the brain and the ovaries start misreading each other's signals. That then means the hypothalamus is in a state of agitation, if you will, and that's how we get the hot flashes. Everybody knows that hot flashes are part of menopause, and very few women realize that so is the brain fog and so is the forgetfulness, and so is the anxiety, and so is the rage, and so is all the other changes that are, are quite shocking in many, in many cases.